All right, this is our sixth video of the photosynthesis lecture series. I warned you it was one of the hardest topics of the year, but it's definitely very important. And we finished the last video while we we're talking about the carbon fixation or the Calvin cycle, but I didn't have time to discuss the main important things you need to know about the cycle if you lost anything else. First, understand that it doesn't technically require sunlight because this cycle is happening using the energy of the other cycle that did require sunlight. Also remember that the whole point is to capture or fixate carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into um, macromolecules. And that each time you do one spin, you actually have to capture three carbon dioxide molecules so you can go halfway, produce six DTPs, so that you can continue going to recharging for five of them, the Rubisco. Also know that the yield, or what comes out of this cycle, is a production of a G3P molecule that can be used to create any of the macromolecules on your body. But of course, the major importance of this is producing glucose, but that takes two spins because G3P is only half of glucose, so you need to do this twice. Also understand that the um, production of glucose still has to go through another step where the G3Ps are combined together in something that looks like the reverse of glycolysis, which even though we're not talking about it, you need to understand that this also happens. But if the G3P is going to be converted to amino acids, that's a different metabolic pathway. It's going to be, if it's going to be converted to glycerol, it's a different metabolic pathway. But overall, what matters is that this carbon fixation cycle is going to be in charge of creating all the organic molecules. So it's thanks to this that organic chemistry is, is possible. And it's in algae and plants that this becomes a reality. Um, <clears throat> remember, this is also requiring 12 total NADPHs and 18 total ATPs produced during the light reactions. Um, each step of the light reaction is actually going to consume 12 water molecules are necessary to power all of this because each water molecule is enough to produce 12 uh, NADPHs and 12 ATP. And the other six ATP comes from that cyclic um, photosynthesis process that um, happens also in the in the talacoid membranes. Um, also understand that this cycle, the, the fixation cycle, happens in the liquid. It's called the stroma. All right, and that throughout this cycle, you actually do produce a little bit of water. Now, this is not in the screen, but during the reconstruction of, of, of Rubisco changes in the molecular structures of the molecules involved there are going to be um, releasing water. In, in fact, it releases a total of six water molecules, which is where you get the six back. So even though you consume 12, you get six back during the, the carbon fixation, and that's why you actually end up with the overall net of six consumption. All right? So from here, we have to talk about... Um, the, we, will, we will go on to talk about photosynthetic adaptations and things that change the efficiency of photosynthesis. So we're going to do that on a separate video, all right? This is just a short video to finish up the, the, the Calvin cycle.